What's up everybody, this is Corey Mission Side Hustle and as you know, I am on a mission to grow $500 to $1 million. Like I told you guys last episode, I've been really busy. So to cope, so to cope with the demands of everyday life, I'm trying to record. <laughs> you guys are killing me. All right, take two or three, I don't know. So to cope with the demands of everyday life, I've decided to invest in something a bit more passive. And that brings Turo into the picture. And if you don't know what Turo is, Turo is kind of like Airbnb, but for cars. So I'm really hoping with Turo that it will allow me to make some passive income monthly while still taking care of my responsibilities in life. Dishes, gotta do the dishes. <laughs> So let's get to it. The current channel net worth is $22,040. And let's see if this month if we can make some money. And maybe, just maybe, have a little time to relax too. Got it! Dude, it is slammed in here today. Holy crap. Today, my friends, we are at the auction, but we're not buying furniture. We're trying to buy some cars. So there are five cars here at the auction that I'm interested in, and I really want to get at least one for a couple reasons. As you guys know, I have my real estate license, and I'm looking to do more real estate very, very soon. However, my Ford F-250 is not the best car to be commuting, doing real estate on. It's a really bad on gas, so I'm hoping to pick up something different today. Also, I want to get a car and put it on Turo, see how much money we can make there. And then last thing, I might even flip it, make some quick money. So what it is, I did a little research before I came here today and there's five cars, like I said, that I'm really interested in. We have a 2013 Honda Accord with 58,000 miles, a 2015 Chrysler 200 with 75,000 miles, uh, a Ford Escape with 108,000 miles, a 2010, by the way, hybrid, a uh, 2009 Town and Country Chrysler van with like 116,000 miles on it, uh, and then a 2011 Kia Optima with I think like 80,000 miles on it. So, so I'm feeling very confident we'll get at least one car today. I'm so confident, in fact, that I wore my Toucan shirt. It's a very exclusive brand. It takes a lot of confidence to wear. I only wear the finest clothes, the finest brands. Ever heard of Old Navy? <laughs> I didn't think so. But at any rate, the cars are going up for auction here in about the next 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off here, head inside of there, see what I can buy, and check back up with you guys very soon once we buy something. Let's go. Woo! Let me come inside here, because it is hot out today. Yeah, I'm driving my Prius today. It is what it is. You guys guess, what do you think? Did I buy the Honda Accord? Did I buy the Chrysler? Did I buy the Toyota? Did I buy the van? Nope, I bought the Ford Escape. And that is the one that I wanted to buy and I'll tell you why. It's a 2010 Hybrid Limited. It's the top of the line in terms of every package. It's got towing, it's got all sorts of stuff. Although I don't really know how you tow with a hybrid, but it does have it, it has the package. And we bought this car for 6,750. Now it's a lot more. I can hear you guys already. I can see the comments being typed right now. That's more than I wanted to spend. I know, it's true. But right now used car prices are absolutely bananas and I have found the same car many times over being sold for 10 grand or higher. But I'm gonna go ahead and list it for like 10.5 and see if I can sell for 10. Right now the market's really hot. But let's do this, I'm starving, I wanna get some food, I wanna check out for a few days, come get the car officially and finish paying for it, get it registered, all that, and I'll show you guys the inside, outside, everything in depth here in just a little bit. Let's do it. Here we go. All 
All right, guys, so let's do this. Let's get it off the lot so I can show you the inside. The outside It's very clean. It's really, really nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys my ultimate grand plan for this car here in just a bit. thing rides pretty good. Never thought these words would come out of my mouth, but big fan of the Ford Escape. One of the classics, I'd say. And I paid a lot of money for this car. More than I otherwise would any other time. So at the end of the day, I bought it for $6,750, and we have a 10% buyer's premium that goes on top of that, and I still have to register it, which means I'm gonna have to pay for a new tag and sales tax on it. So that leaves me with a few options. I can either one, Go ahead and try and sell this thing, flip it, make some fast money, or two, post it on Turo and try and rent it. I wouldn't just buy a car just to have it. That would be a depreciating asset. It would just cost me money. I already have the truck to get around. I wouldn't have just bought something that's good on gas just to have another car. No, it needs to make money, it needs the cash flow, or we need to go ahead and sell it and make a profit. So those are the two strategies in play that we're gonna use moving forward here. So now my first step is this. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing registered. Then I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up, and then I'm gonna take some really nice pictures, post it for sale, and post it on Turo, and see what happens first. Let's show you how nice this thing is. That adds at least a thousand dollars value, promise. So the exterior is really nice, but I'll tell you what sold me on this thing is the interior is so, so clean, and it looks great. It's a 2010, it's a little bit old, but this thing's, it's a great car. Check it. Nice, clean, bone color, leather, no rips, no tears, in great shape. Same thing with the back seats and the trunk, looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and knock out those things I said we have to do. Let's get it registered, let's get some pictures, and let's get it posted for sale and for rent. Let's go. All right. Today is about to be a good day. I just dropped off my kids at school and I love them so much. <sighs> but I also deeply appreciate kid free time because I got things to do. And now I've got today pretty much wide open. I have a few things to take care of. I got to go to the DMV to get the escape registered. I've got to go take you to a really nice place, get some pictures done post it on Turo, and post it for sale. Once I've got all these items knocked out, I think we're gonna start making some money. So let's go ahead and head over here now. We've got an appointment set up, so we're gonna walk right in, take care of that business, and move on to the next item. Let's do it. Register the car. All right, the deed is done. So we got the escape registered. It cost a pretty penny to do that. It was $864.63. So we're gonna record that as $865. Ugh, that hurts. Ugh, that's a tough pill to swallow. That's a lot of money, but we're good to go. So let's go ahead, get the plate put on, get some pictures, and get it listed. Let's go. Honey, I'm home. I gotta get started a rental car business. Can you hold this? <clears throat> Just kidding. Let's go! I have to do that every time. All right, guys, I just got to the beach where I'm gonna take some pictures for the car here to post on Turo and for sale, and you will not believe what's happening right now. They're taking Turo photos too! Unbelievable. Well, I'm gonna take mine at the same time. <laughs> All 
right guys, I'm done getting all my pictures for the day. So we got everything we need now to make the listing active, to go on Taro and to post this thing for sale. We got the photos, the registration, the insurance, everything is taken care of. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack up now, head on out of here, get it posted today and see what happens. Man, I'm really excited. All the hard work is done. Now, let's see what money we can make. Let's get to it. Well, things have escalated very quickly for Turo. The day I took those pictures and posted this thing on Turo, I already had reservations coming in. Only a few short days later, I had a new reservation starting and today is that day. It's a very long one. It's about, I think it's about nine days. And uh, when it's all said and done, I'm gonna be earning $450 for it. So it's not a ton, I mean, 450 bucks is good. It's not a huge sum of money, but it is pretty awesome, especially if this is consistent. The only downside so far is that we do have costs that are gonna come out of this every month, which is the insurance, and then we have to split our trip fare with Turo as well. So we'll dive more into that as time goes on, but just know for this trip right here, we're gonna make 450 bucks. So I got about 30 minutes till the guy arrives. So I've got some stuff inside of here that I have to clear out before I can rent this thing to him. So let me go ahead and get it emptied out of here, get the thing ready, go through the Turo check-in process, and get it rented. Let's go. Okay, I think we're done. We got all the photos, we got all the information put in, like the mileage, the gas, things like that. Uh, I've got the cleaning done. Everything is ready to go. He's gonna be here probably in the next like eight to 10 minutes is when his reservation starts. I gotta tell you guys, I'm very nervous <laughs> letting somebody take this car. I just paid quite a bit of money for it and if someone does something to break it or mess it up, that's gonna set us back quite a bit. I mean, we have money to make repairs if we need to, but that's not what we wanna spend money on. So I'm really hoping this goes smoothly. It makes me nervous that people are gonna be driving a car around here uh, and potentially wrecking it, you know, and us having to pay for it. So, fingers crossed, nothing bad happens. But at any rate, he'll be here in just a few minutes, so let's go ahead and kick back, relax, wait for him to arrive, and see how this handoff goes. Okay, that's pretty easy. I'm so nervous. Please don't wreck my car. <laughs> anyway, drop off is done. It was very easy, but now I just gotta sit here and be a nervous wreck for like nine or 10 days or however long the reservation is until it comes back in one piece. But in the meantime, since I drove the car here, now I don't have a ride home. So I guess I'm walking. So I know at this point you guys can't really tell, but it's actually been about 10 days since you saw me rent out the car and we got it back. And they brought it back super clean with a full tank of gas, just like they're supposed to. Worked perfect. So the only thing that went a little bit off is they had to cut their trip one day short. So instead of making 450, I ended up netting 420. Now the beautiful thing about all this is that was about three days ago I picked up the car and today I'm back in it cause guess what? it's getting rented again. So between this trip that's coming up today and then I have another one a few days after this one. So that's gonna make three rentals in the month of July so far. We're gonna make just over $800 this month net. We still pay our insurance and things like that, but that's already covered for this month. So I think we're gonna do pretty dang good. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get this thing ready to rent again. We're gonna get it washed, get it vacuumed, top off the gas, get some of my stuff out of here because I've been using it for the past two days, and then go ahead and get it rented to this person coming in a few hours. So let's take care of business, make some more money.
All right, let's take pictures, check this ride in, and get on out of here. All right, you guys, that is a wrap. We've got this thing turned over. It's clean, it's full of gas, the tires are pumped up, everything on that ride is good to go. The guy's gonna check in here in just about, uh, probably about an hour and a half or two hours, and he'll have it for about four days. So, all in all, I'm really liking Turo a lot. It's not a lot of work. Uh, I do have to get the car ready, but other than that, there's, there's not as much work involved as a lot of the other stuff I've done before. So I'd like to maybe scale this out. This is pretty good. As I told you guys before, I have that car listed for sale. So if I can sell that car and flip it and make some money off of that flip, then I do plan on getting two cheaper cars. So let's just keep running this thing for as long as we can, make as much money as we can while the getting's good, and see what happens. I'll catch up with you guys here in just a little bit. What's up, everybody? It's been a few days since I spoke with you guys last, and the reservation we were preparing for finished up everything was fine no problems with it and I've got it cleaned up again to get it rented out one more time this month and then we'll be done I've showed you guys cleaning the car out a lot this episode so I'm gonna go ahead and skip that here I've already done it I'm gonna just gonna meet this person do the drop-off and then we'll go back to my home office and go over all the numbers for Turo this month let's go this episode had some complicated finances, so let's talk about the money. We bought the Ford Escape for $6,750. Now that doesn't mean we lost money on it, it just means that asset is no longer cash, and instead it's an asset of the vehicle. So our net worth doesn't decrease simply because we bought the vehicle. However, we did have a lot of expenses this episode too. So we had to pay $675 in the buyer's premium when we bought this vehicle at the auction. Then we had to insure it to drive it to the DMV. That cost $121.60. Then we had to register it, which was $865 for the taxes and the new plate and everything. Then we had to put some gas in this thing. It was $6.53. And then we took it to the car wash twice, which was $20 total. That gives us a total expense of $1,688.13. So let's just round it down to $1,000. 688 expense. Now we rented the car out three times this month. It gives us a total revenue of $814. So if you guys can do the math, you see we spent more money this episode than we've generated thus far. So when you take that revenue and subtract the expenses, we actually do show a loss this episode for now. This is something that's gonna be like a long-term play. It's gonna recoup the investment over time. However, this episode we do show a loss. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put up two tables here. One is gonna be the net worth at the start of this episode and the net worth at the end of this episode. And you guys will see that we lost some money in cash and we lost some money in the stock market. For now, for now, let me reiterate that, for now. So as it stands now, the new channel net worth is $20,993. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time when we finally get into some real estate. Let's go.